there is a big difference between being able to solve a math problem and being able to understand a math problem and solve it. They are two completely different things. You can solve a math problem and not have any idea what you're doing. I know because I've done that uh, several times. I always had a hard time understanding the why. And in this video, we're going to talk about those differences, the differences between understanding the math and just basically going through the motions and giving a mechanical solution, which is better and which should you aim to do? Well, obviously it's better to understand, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Let's go ahead and start this video by what inspired it. And it's a short email I received from a viewer here on the channel. His name is Justin. I'll leave his last name out of it. And the subject is understanding math and mechanics. Hey, math sorcerer. Thanks for your videos and encouragement, especially as an older learner who has struggled with math. I am taking differential equations. How important is understanding theory versus knowing the mechanics of solving a problem? This has been quite the struggle for me. Simply understanding a question or theory or mechanics has meant the difference between getting an A or a high C on an exam in my calculus courses. Thank you in advance for answering my question. Your videos are awesome and help a lot of people. Keep doing what you're doing. Best regards, Justin. Well, let me just start by saying uh, thank you, Justin, for uh, this email. I think this is a really good question because I always personally struggled with the understanding. I was really good at memorizing things. As a concrete example, when I took the calculus sequence, I did really well in calculus one and two, and also in calculus three. But when I got to calculus three, I had a hard time understanding the teacher. I didn't understand the why. I could see how he was kind of working stuff out on the board, but I just had a really hard time and I felt like I was having a harder time than my other classmates were. I was struggling more than other people. I got an A in the class, but I just had a hard time understanding the why. And what I did was I ended up just memorizing the steps and going through the motions and I ended up getting an A on every single test and I got an A in the class, but I don't think that I learned as much as I could. So as far as your grade is concerned, if you're in a calculus class, typically, typically depends on the teacher, as long as you know the mechanics, as long as you can kind of work your way through it and answer the question correctly on the test, you're going to get full credit. But the reality is it's way better to take the time to understand. Now, one thing that a lot of people do, which is really unfortunate, and, and I can see why people do it is that they spend an incredible amount of time trying to understand the why and the theory, and then they neglect the mechanics. So that's not something that you want to do. You want to definitely focus on knowing how to actually solve the problems, right? I mean, that's super important. As you know, the legendary Paul Halmos used to say, he was a famous mathematician, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Now, that also involves understanding the why, obviously, but the point is, you actually have to solve math problems in order to get good at mathematics. You have to do lots of math. So I think that even though it's super important to understand the why in your situation, you know, making sure you can solve the problems is priority, then, then focus on understanding. Some people are naturally better at understanding the why. I've seen this in classmates. I've seen this in students. Some people just get it quicker. They just, they understand the why they understand why things work. And I think it's impressive. I had a student once, uh, I was teaching a, a Calc two class and I was explaining the limit comparison test for infinite series. This is a test that you can use to compare two series and you basically take this limit. And if the limits basically, if the limit approaches a finite, uh, positive number, then, um, basically your series have the same growth rate. So they're either both going to converge or both going to diverge. And he basically raised his hand and explained all that. And I was just blown away because this is a student who is understanding something really, really deep, which is not something that 
honestly I did as a student and not something that most students do. So some people can really understand the theory. So if you're watching this video and you're one of those people who seems to understand the why, you have a gift. At the same time, I think there's people that really have a good fundamental grasp on the why, but they can't get the mechanics down. And that could be because they're creating mental roadblocks. I think a lot of people get hung up on stuff. You know, a lot of times people want to do something, for example, and they'll put it off because they, they create barriers in their minds. Oh, I can't do this until X, Y, Z, or oh, I can't do this because I don't know how to do this. The same thing happens when you're trying to learn mathematics. You tell yourself, oh, I, I can't really solve that problem yet because I don't understand this stuff. Or, oh, I can't go to the later chapters in the book and study what I'm supposed to be studying. Instead, I'm going back and reviewing my algebra. No, you always have to focus on what's in front of you, whatever that may be. So if you're in a classroom and you're taking a calculus class and you have to study trigonometric substitution, that should be your focus, master the mechanics. So both are important. Obviously it's better to know both, but at the end of the day, if you're in a classroom situation and you're taking a calculus class, you wanna make sure you have those mechanics down. You wanna make sure you have the structure down. You wanna make sure your solutions are clean, elegant, your handwriting is, is legible, and you're able to present good solutions so that when you get your grade back at the end of the day, you get a good grade. You know, it's, it's no good if you take a class, you feel like you learned a lot, but then you get a D or an F, you know, like, oh, I, I, I took calculus and I learned a lot, but I got a bad grade. It wasn't really re reflected in my grade. You don't want to say that. You want to say, I took calculus and I got an A and maybe there was some stuff I didn't understand, but I got an A. I, I think it's better to get the grade because the grade stays with you for the rest of your life. Anyways, kind of a rant. Those are my thoughts. I, I think that it's important, again, to really, really master the mechanics, but at the same time, you know, spend some time trying to understand the theory. It, it's a struggle. And again, different people are different. Different people learn certain math subjects quicker than others. Not just math in general, but like certain math subjects, some people are better at certain types of math. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, I'm not good at any of this, or I don't like math, or maybe there's a math subject you didn't like, there's all kinds of mathematics out there. And you'll find that the more math you take, a couple things will happen. You'll realize that you don't know that much math. And you'll also realize that some math is a lot cooler than other math. So yeah, those are my thoughts. If you have any advice for anyone watching this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Whenever you leave comments, it helps other people. People from all over the world watch these videos, so you're helping people. Also, if you found any value in this content and you want to subscribe, hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. And if you want to learn mathematics, I have courses, they're on the Udemy platform, but please use the links from my website. I've lowered the prices to make them as low as possible. So if you use the links from my website, I'm pretty sure you'll get a low price. My website is freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. And it's not a very good website. It, it works, it has links, it's functional. If you click those links, it'll take you straight to Udemy, straight to the course, and you'll get some type of discount and stuff. So I've got courses on calculus so many courses on calculus, one, two, three, probably four or five different calculus courses, some algebra courses, trig, some proof writing stuff, all, all kinds of stuff, you know, you'll find something there. If you take away anything from this video, it's that there are two distinct things, right? There's, there's the problem solving process of just going through the steps and just, you know, memorization, memorizing steps, just very mechanical. And there's the understanding of the why. In an ideal world, you become good at both. But the reality is it's hard to become good at both. So you have to prioritize. And if you're taking a class, you should always prioritize what's in front of you, right? Prioritize the demands that you're met with in life. You know, if, if you if you have to go to work, you go to work. You get up and you do it, right? If you have to go to class and you have to study for a test, you get up and you do it, right? That's That's the most important thing for your success in life is take care of that. Be successful in school and, and everything you do. Anyways, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.